Hello and welcome to today's session. My name is Nellie Deutsch and there is a little bit about me that you can read. I'm involved in Moodle and helping teachers teach using Moodle, helping managers of a Moodle course and managers of a Moodle site and all this for free. If you're interested, you're always welcome to look me up and I'll be happy to help. I have a YouTube channel playlist uh, dedicated to helping admins and teachers manage Moodle and help their students make the most of it. So let's get started with today's topic. Today's topic is a very important one. It's connected to a Moodle plugin called Topic Activity Cards Course Format. If you didn't know, Moodle has course formats. There's the Google Slides, so you're able to actually download the slides, print them, or just copy them if you wish. All the links and QR codes are available. I created the QR codes that are here in this presentation using a free feature called QR Code Monkey, and I'm really grateful to them. So thank you for making it free for all. Right, so what is a topic activity cards course format and what does it do? If you wanna get the plugin and you're the admin of a Moodle site, or if you'd like to tell your admin and ask them to get the topic activity cards course format, uh, there's a QR code that'll take you there. Uh, what does it do? Well, you can read what it does on this list. It displays sections and activities as cards. So it's not only sections, but it's also activities. You can customize it by changing the color, the fonts and images. You can add a description to each card and specify the duration of the activity. It supports all Moodle activities. Easy to install if you're the admin and of course, if you're the teacher or manager or student to gain the most of it and of course to use it. We're gonna take a look at it in a minute, but why use the topic activity cards? Well, it organizes course content more effectively and that's what we're looking for as teachers. And of course, uh, we want to ensure that our students gain the most from our courses. It makes the course content more visually appealing. It also makes the course content more engaging and improves the overall learning experience for our students. And that's super important. If you're interested in learning how to use it and other Moodle plugins, you wanna try them out in a course, you're invited to do so by joining the free Moodle MOOCs that are available every May. And if you contact me, I'll see if I can get a special area for you so you can try it out. If you're an experienced Moodler, there's the link to the course and the QR code, of course. It's suitable for both new and advanced Moodle teachers and Moodle managers of a course and of a site. You can try out these and other features as a teacher and a manager of your very own course, again, completely free on onlinecoursesforfree.com. So you're welcome to join us and to learn with and other educators from around the globe. Let's go into the activity itself and see what it looks like. I'm on integrating technology where you can take the course. I just wanted to point out that the course is called Moodle MOOC 23. Just uh, you can join even right now. We haven't ended the month of May yet. And if you join now, you'll still be able to do a lot. I'm going to close the block drawer there so you can get a better view. Notice uh, that's an overview of the course. Not much there, but I'm going to go in as a student. Notice Teachers and managers can do that. They can go in as a student and view what the student sees. 
Notice right now, that's what you will see. Uh, there's a support form. Uh, weekly badges, you'll get a chance to see the weekly badges here under weekly badges, but also under badges at the top here, badges. There's an introduction and orientation area. Once you complete all the tasks of the first section, you'll be able to get your very own course and start your Moodle course. Notice you'll be learning about the activities and resources, blocks and sections, and of course, reflect and get your certificate of completion all completely free. So let's go into the Moodle site where you can get your free online course to develop and work with, try out the plugins and so on. On the latest Moodle, I always make sure that I have the latest Moodle. Right now, it's Moodle 4.2. Easy to log in, you just click on the login. And then notice here, you've got a choice, Google, Microsoft, Facebook, LinkedIn, or Yahoo. I'm going to log in with Google, so I can go in as the admin because admins will be installing this for you. So there we go, it's coming in, and here we are, we're in. So it's that is the first and each time. That's how you create an account, and that's how you log in. Going to go into the site administration, and we're looking at course format, in case you missed that. There we go. And we're looking for course format or the plugin. So course, and then I forgot the word format. Sometimes it's better to write one word or to put the words together. Notice course format. That's, um, these are the different ones. I generally use one topic format but there are others here that are available. We're going to look at topic activity cards. Let's just add all of these so that they're available. We're talking about topic activity format. Notice I installed it. I'm not going to uninstall, but you can hide it if you don't want to use it, or you can have it higher up there with the others. Let me go into my courses and my sandbox. You can also join my sandbox and try things out. Let me know if that interests you. So right now, um, I see that it's not, there's nothing here. So let's go into home. I don't know why, maybe because I'm the admin. So I'm going to go into a, my sandbox. Notice these are different courses that you can take right now. And there are quite a few of them, as you can see. Okay, and um, I'm not going to go through all that list because that's going to take forever. But uh, if I keep scrolling, I'll get to what I'm looking for. Or you can search for it, which is probably the better way of doing things. So by going into My Courses, I can search for what I'm looking for and sort the course. And in this case, it's not a future course. Notice here, it is um, all courses. And now it will appear under my courses. You just need to make sure that the filter is correct. And then uh, I can go through all the ones that I've registered in, or I can simply write sandbox and that will resolve it really quickly. And notice send and I forgot the B, so of course I'm not going to get that. But there it is. There's the sandbox. So it's important to write the right cue. All right, so this is it. I'm going to turn it being on at the top right. And I'm going to go into course settings. Notice at the top there, the blue bar. Under that, I'm going to scroll down until I get to course format, open that up. Notice what I have here is one topic and what I'm looking for are topics activity cards format. Going to scroll down, wait a few seconds there, and then I'm going to, I'm using move right now. That's the theme. It's completely free if you're interested. And then I'm going to save and return. Okay, so this is what it looks like. 
it's disorganized. You might not like it this way. You might want to put images instead of anything else here. Notice um, how it's divided right now. Let me turn editing off. I don't really need it at this point to see. The, in the blue strips on Moodle 4.2, you don't need to turn editing on if you're using any of these. You only need to turn it on when you're doing something very, very specific like adding a new just um, activity or resource. So notice what it looks like. Okay, each one, each section is um, done in a list format. I don't think I like that. So you can change that. Let's go back to the um, course format and you could also have a course image there. Back to course format and see what we've got here. So topics, activity, course format. Okay, that's the one we chose. Hidden sections are completely invisible. That's fine. Fixed width. Okay, heading with activities or you can have a linked card or card with activities. So you can try these out. Notice uh, you can also have a list or cards. I think I like cards as opposed to a list. And then we can take a look and see what that looks like. Play around with it until you get what you're looking for, unless you're familiar with this. So now notice we have the sections and we can have an image for each section so it doesn't look like a mess. And then participants just click on it and they go into the list. Right now, they'll need to click on, notice it's clickable, click on the section. So try it out and see how it goes. So notice here there's a lot of things, as I said, and um, it could be distractive. Okay, so these are the sections like that. If you want to have a list instead of cards, you'll need to add card images, which will make it a lot better. You can do this through the list by going into back into description. The way you see it right now is an enlarged form. Uh, so fixed width, you might want to have full width. Linked card, you might want to have card with activities or headings with activities. Card with activities and then cards. Or you can have just a list. Okay, so you can take a look at that and see what that looks like and whether you like it. If you get your own course or if you're here, you'll be able to play around with that. Notice um, it's kind of messy. This way, as I said, again, it's the same kind of thing. It looks messy and hard for students to follow. And you don't want that. Right now, you're seeing the actual size. Before, it was kind of large, so it uh, showed a lot of spaces and it was hard to manage. So this is the actual size. If you want to change the size, you can do it within Moodle. Ask your admin if you want to have a bigger font. So right now it's card and activities and we're going to change that to a list so you get a chance to see what it looks like as a list. So there it is. It's a lot more organized. They can just go through the list, but again, it's scrolling. Okay, but that's a possibility. Or if you want to make it, instead of having it uniform, you want to have it, remember the size, we can change the size format to instead of fixed width to full width, and then have the list there. And now it's um, fullest. Notice uh, nothing goes over anything else, so it's clear. If you want to add an activity anywhere as a teacher or manager, you need to go into the section. All right, so um, remember our sections, general Canada, color, and so on. So we're going to click on Canada. And then, or before that, it doesn't really matter. We're going to turn editing on. We could do it at the same time. And then once you've got that, you'll be able to see add an activity or resource. And then 
you're good to go. Notice uh, the resources are over here. These are the resources and the activities are over here. If you're interested in seeing an activity that's compatible with the current Moodle 4.2, let me know and I'll be at it. I'll be able to add it so you can try it on your own in a course of your own. And that's it. Okay, that's the course format that I wanted to show you. If you want to go back because you don't like it, if you like one topic, that's fine too. If you want to try another course format that you haven't tried, and again, if it's compatible, that will be fine. Uh, you can do that. We're going to go back to, instead of this one, we're going to add one topic. And then remember whatever you're adding to make sure that you save it. Again, when you're doing anything at the on the blue strip here, you don't have to turn editing on. It's only when you want to add an activity or resource. When you want to edit an activity or resource, you do not have to. <laughs> Okay, anymore on Moodle 4.2, you do not have to turn editing on. So you only turn it for one instance as a teacher. Have a great day and happy Moodling. Subscribe and let me know what you'd like to see. Thank you.